In this video, we're gonna dive into one of the main reasons why golfers struggle to compress the golf ball and add loft for it. So this is all about your trail arm movement. So for me, right-handed golfer, my right arm, and the lack of connection between that and the body. So we're gonna get into exactly why that's such a problem. And two, at the end of the video, a really cool, simple drill to fix it permanently. So I'm John from Channel J Channel Golf. Let's dive on into it. So I can't tell you the amount of times I have students come to me on a daily basis struggling with the same ball flight characteristics. High shots, sometimes left, sometimes maybe a little bit right, but terrible striking as well. Lacking compression. And what we see when golfers struggle with their compression, they will be more times than not, have their trail arm disconnect away from them in the downswing. So their right arm for right-handed golf will get further away from the pivot. That is gonna cause some big, big problems. Now, we might see them get up to the top of the backswing in a great spot. As soon as they start down, we'll see this right arm might start to, with the elbow get behind. We'll see that will cause that right arm to get disconnected. So from there, as I'm moving through the golf ball, I'm gonna find it really hard to get myself on top of that ball consistently. What's gonna happen? Because that trail arm getting more disconnected is pushing my hands further away from the body. So from there, if I just continue to turn through the shot, I'm gonna ground out that club very early. My low point's gonna be artificially moved behind, even with good shifting. So how are we gonna hit a good golf shot from there? The only option is to lose all our angles. So we will see a golfer throw their arms at it. We might even see them extend the right arm coming into the golf ball, just in effort to get everything speeding back up to that club to meet the golf ball properly. But no way I can produce good shaft lean on that. I'm gonna be every single time having this kind of weak casting position. It's gonna be ridiculously difficult to time. I'm probably gonna hit the ground a bunch. And if we are having a casting movement, throwing the club back on it, because it's the only way to get the club back onto the golf ball, that is going to point the club left quite often. So we're adding loft. We're gonna have the club point a little bit left. So we might pull some from time to time. We can very easily push them, but also bad striking. So we need to get this trail arm more connected to the side. So once we can keep this trail arm a little bit more connected to our side in the downswing, we're gonna notice some very, very good things. We're gonna notice from down the line, what is that gonna look like? The trail elbow is gonna to start to work more in front of you. So you guys out there who are obsessed with trying to get the right arm in front of you, this is a great one to be able to do it, the drill we're gonna show you here. So that's one thing, it's gonna help with that. It'll help you shadow the golf club a little bit. But also it's gonna keep the hands more in line with the pivot. Your arms and your hands are gonna be more moved by and in control by how our body and our structure is moving. So just from that, arms being more connected, you can see how they're more on top of me. And now I can just turn through, and now I'm gonna hit a golf shot, where if I had everything disconnect, turn through, boom, like we know, the club's gonna dig into the ground. Low point's gonna be artificially moved this way. So having that right arm connected to our side, turning through, we're gonna continue that good rotation. That right arm is gonna stay nice and bent. And of course, if we're not being silly with our club face being massively open, it's nice and square, then we won't be suffering with that much of a flip either. So we're gonna be turning and having those hands exit nicely. All these good things can be made possible with this right arm getting more connected to your side. Look at all the top players in the world. They have so much right arm connection there, it's silly. So let's do a little drill to be able to fix this. So what do we need for this drill? We need a glove, spare glove. Or if you're like me who doesn't really wear a glove, it's a glove. So what we need to do here, put this glove underneath our trail arm. Now, this is very self-explanatory. If this trail arm disconnects away from us, what's gonna happen? Boom, falls to the ground. So what do we need to do? Keep it in between our arms. Brilliant, or arm, arm anyway. Absolutely brilliant one to do. Keep it there the entire time, even through to the finish. That will guarantee that you are, of course, gonna be more connected. So when we do that, get all these good things, we're gonna be rotating more, hands and arms can be more controlled by the pivot, nice shuffling, good compression, we're gonna see some brilliant shots. So start small, build your way up. So let's do one here, really making sure this is staying underneath and in our arm here. We don't wanna drop it at any point. It's gonna be hard for you who struggle with it, but you need to do it. So let's do one. So you can see there, where is it? Still there. 
really wants to hit as many balls as you can with this. So, good thing about this though, you can do this on a golf course. Not with a glove, that would be cheating. It's against the rules. But you can do that with, if you're wearing something like I am, like with my PXG hoodie or my sweatshirt here, grab some kind of long bit of your jumper or your golf shirt if you're from somewhere, luckily where it's nice and warm already. Tuck it underneath your right arm. Might see tour players do this quite a lot with both arms, which you can do. Video for another time. Now, what's that gonna do? That same sensation, you're gonna feel that connection like with the glove there. If you then disconnect, you're gonna feel all the shirt come away. So keep it underneath the arm. Keep that same pinching connection feel. Do it out in the golf course too. Boom, there we go. You hit really good shots pretty much every single time. You can make sure that this is under control all the time as well. So you can get reps everywhere. You can do this on every single shot on the golf course, every single shot on the driving range. If this is your problem, you can fix it ridiculously fast because you can always get reps in. If you're not doing a rep with it, what are you doing? This is your problem. Continue to get the reps in. If you're not doing a, if you're doing a shot out on the golf course where you haven't done this and you can, that's on you for not fixing it. So if you like this video, of course, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So, get this trailer more connected. You're gonna start compressing the ball a little bit better.